Okay, so we're out here today with Terry Poye from Colony Yamaha, downtown on the west side. <laughs> so uh, we're out uh, carving up some powder day, Terry, and uh, we thought we'd uh, bolt on a set of the MT9 skis. Uh, what's your thought on, first of all, we'll go flotation? The flotation is really good. It's, it's better than the stock ski. The only thing I think that the uh, the paddle on the front may have ended a bit early, a bit prematurely, because it tends to push in the snow. Uh, it doesn't quite get up on top of the snow as good as I'd like it to. Maybe if that waist came back a few more inches, uh, or a lot further on the inside, because it would have no effect there, but then you'd have a left and a right ski. So here we are again, Terry, we'll uh, talk about, say, steering effort with the MT9 skis uh, compared to the stock ones. The steering effort is definitely reduced, uh, quite a lot actually, it's, it's real nice, it's very light steering, especially in a situation where you want to uh, pull a five point turn on the trail to turn around and go the other way. Uh, it's really easy when you're almost at a standstill to turn the ski and hit reverse and turn the ski and back to forward and, and so on, so they, they work really well in that regard. So I'll tell you, last thing to discuss on these skis compared to the stock ones, we'll do, uh, say, the trail handling up and down the trail up to the mountains here. The, the handling has been really good. Uh, of course, with the lighter steering effort, there's less steering precision as well, so it tends to push the front end more than the stock ski. In, in any particular snow conditions or just... Uh, if there's powder snow or if there's wet snow, especially in wet snow, it definitely skates the front end more. But as long as you're aware of that and you don't try and grab a big handful of the bars and just kind of feed the steering in and let it bite a little bit, then it tends to carve corners nicely still.